Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Loyal Alice. Welcome everyone. All my new families and all my longtime families, welcome. In today's video, your girl is going to cook some real Jamaican food. What are these food? We are going to cook yam and this is what? I think it's yellow afu, if I am correct. So afu yam and then we have some real Jamaican pumpkin and this is a pumpkin from our garden yes we did not purchase pumpkin this is from our little backyard garden and I am going to cook some real real cornmeal dumpling I am going to take you through the process with all these nice Jamaican food what are we going to have this delicious Jamaican food with some chicken but I'm not sure how I will be doing my chicken as yet. So as we go along, I will be telling you what I will be doing. So first thing first, I got my pot here that I fill with water, yeah, and I'm gonna put it on the fire, the oven, <laughs> the stove, right over here. So we let the stove and we're gonna take our pot over there. So, we're going to make the water come to a boil and then we are going to peel our yam and wash our pumpkin, cut it in the desired shape or style that we need it into and then we're gonna get our um, cornmeal dumpling going. So first thing first, for my cornmeal dumpling, we need some flour. So this is the flour bucket, so one cup, two cup and a half and then we are going to get we are going to get our cornmeal so this is our cornmeal how i'm going to add it i'm just gonna free pour no measurement <laughs> i just i'm so good at free pouring so i really don't need the measurement but if you want to do like one or two cups or three cups that's fine so that's much and then we're gonna get some salt add to it and combine them together then make it into a dough that's what we're gonna do so give me a minute this is our salt how much salt so we're just gonna add salt to taste so i use one teaspoon and a little so that's it and we are gonna combine them together first thing first make sure you wash your hands use some soap wash your hands and then get some water fresh water and do the thing you know because you know you don't need no, any um germs in your food right and low fingernails yes low fingernails is very good in this process remember dry your hands after washing and we're gonna combine oil, flour, and cornmeal together. And I, you hear the water? I'm getting my cup with water so I can uh, um, pour the water into my flour. So that's what it's looking like. Yep. The reason why you combine it like this is to make sure that the cornmeal and the flour are infused together. And then we're gonna make a dough out of our mixture. So let me do that. So you pour the water, doesn't matter how much, just make sure that it's not too soft. It is just the right amount. During this process, you might make some a mess, so it is very good to clean as you go so that's the dough farming because the water is combining it together when the dough is complete i'll come back this is the progress <laughs> it's going nicely i'm gonna add some more water because i have some dry flour in the mix we are gonna combine everything together and guys, if it, if it gets away from you and it's become a little too soft, we have flour. Just add some more flour 
to your mixture and make it into the dough that you like. Yeah. So that's my dough. Soft? Yes. Too soft? No. If it's too soft, then I add some flour, but my dough is perfect. So when the water comes to a boil, I'm going to add in my salt, then the cornmeal dumpling first, my yam, and then my pumpkin. And then I lower the heat to make everything cook. So I'm going to go ahead and prep my chicken. I'm thinking about Jamaican style chicken. So let me see if I can bring that to life. The Jamaican style chicken. So guys, the water come to a boil. So let me show you. Woo, yes. So you know what that means. It means it's time for me to make my dumplings. And I'm going to show you how I make my dumplings. First thing first, I need to clean my hands. And cleaning my hands is very important for me right now. Yep. And I'm gonna leave this right here. So I'm gonna get some flour. Put a little dry flour, reason why. So if my hands is too wet, then the flour will stick to my hand and I don't want that. So I really need it. There we go. Soft. We are going to make dumplings like this. There we go. So all this is going to go inside the pot and then I come back. So guys, I'm almost through in making the dumplings. I will not tell you how much I have in the pot because there's so much. Because I love, I so love it. So I am going to um, finish up, peel my yam. I need to let you guys see how I peel my yam and prep my pumpkin and put it in the pot. Yeah. We did good, we did good. So all this, yeah, is going inside the pot. So, I'm washing my hands again, half two. And I'm gonna dry my hand. All right. So we're not gonna use all of this. We're gonna use piece of it. I think this piece is enough. Yeah, two pieces. That's enough. Let me lower the fire so the water does not boil over. And then I cover the pot in the meantime. And so when we purchase it, they cut this side. So what you do is use your knife and lightly, lightly remove that part. You don't want to remove too much, just a small part, and then you peel this side. And remember, you do not take a lot into the skin. You peel it light, so there is no um, skin leave on the part that you're going to eat. And yeah, you don't take off too much of what you're going to eat in the skin. You got to, just got to make it balanced enough. Can the skin be eaten? Yes, if you roast it, it can be eaten. What I do now after peeling it, I have my cutting board over there, but just to demonstrate, I, I split it in two like this. There we go. And then I rinse it off. So you gotta rinse it off. And then we're going to put it in the pot. Oops. We put that in the pot. We dry our hands. Make sure that our hands are dry. Then we get 
our pumpkin. For the pumpkin, I am going to remove the middle. So this is from our garden, our little garden that we have around the back. And remember how I told you guys that the, the, the cows find the garden and we're eating it? Yes, yeah, so we were trying to not let it all gone by the cows. So, yeah. So I'm removing the edges, just the same, very thin. And then we remove the middle. The reason why we remove this part is because this is where the seed was sitting. So we remove this part. And we gave it to the fowl or the chickens or the roost or the hen. Then we slice them. And then we check the outside to make sure that there is nothing. And then guess what we do? We rinse. Yep. Rinse your food before you put them in the pot. And that's what we're doing. So, after rinsing, there we go. You put them inside the pot. You put them face down or face up. And we let the pot come to a boil. Then I store this back over here so I can use it for another day. My Irish potato will go into my Jamaican style chicken and then this will go back into the refrigerator and this little waste here goes to the roosters and the hens. So give me a minute, I'll come back. So let me tell you how I'm going to do my chicken, the Jamaican style way. So first thing first, we're gonna fry our chicken. So it has no flour on it or anything. So what we're gonna do, most people like to flour it and then they fry it and then cook it down. But no, I am just going to fry it and then cook it down. Also show you how I'm gonna make my sauce from scratch. And then, yeah, hope you guys like it. So I'm gonna light the next side of the stove right now. Cover my pot, let it come out to a boil. I'm gonna make a switch over. So I put the bigger pot at the corner and then I put this one here. So I'm gonna put some oil. And we're gonna make that come we're gonna make the oil very hot. I don't know how much degree or firing, how much firing height it should be, but we're just gonna make it real hot. And then we add our chicken, and then yeah, from there I'll take you what the next step. But in the meantime, I will be prepping my vegetables that I'm going to cook down on my chicken. As usual, onions, sweet pepper, tomato, scotch bunny pepper. Now I have um, Irish potato, I have carrot. Yeah, all of that is gonna go here. So I'll tell you when the oil is come to hot or when it heated. Yeah. Guys, it is going, it is going. So we're gonna fry them, seal the juice on the inside. We're gonna fry both sides. Kind of gonna fry it to like brown like, yeah. And then we're gonna cook it down. And then I'm gonna show you the sauce. I'm gonna make the sauce. You'll be surprised. The sauce is going to be delish. And I want you guys to see how I make it from scratch. So guys, this is what it's going to look like. It's gonna have this color here and all sides is gonna have that brown color, yeah? And then I am going to cover it and put um, half cup of water to steam it, so to speak. But the water 
is not going to be just water. I'm going to show you how it's going to produce the sauce and the whole work. So this is what the pot is looking like. Carne dumpling, the pumpkin, it's giving what it's supposed to give and the yam, they sink to the bottom. When it is cooked, it will be back on top. So yeah, that's what's going on here. The vegetable is cut and ready to go into the chicken when it's time for me to um, add it to the chicken. So guys, this is the juice that the um the season that the chicken was seasoned up in so first thing first i am going to get my pancake syrup so it's gonna have a little sweet to it so this is my pancake syrup i'm just judging what to um the amount to put in there and then hold on and then i have my brown in here this is the browning i use and we're gonna make few drops, like one, <laughs> and then we make one more, two. I think that is enough, let's see. Yes, and guess what we're gonna add next? There we go, that's the sauce, that's it guys, that's it. So, then we're gonna get some ketchup, and then we add some ketchup, yeah. So that's the sauce. And the reason why I said half cup of water, we get some water, we're gonna add to the sauce because we don't want it too thick because when the water is gone from it, then the sauce will become thick. And while the chicken cooks, we are gonna throw this on it. We're gonna add a pinch of salt. Remember, we won't be adding any pepper because we already have our scotch bunny pepper with our garlic and scallion and the whole work so this is gonna taste um sweet and sour let me taste it yeah sweet and sour we are gonna add a little of our maggi seasoning and remember there is not much salt in this so we're just gonna add it like that if we need any more salt when the chicken is added and started to simmer down then we will add salt if we need it but right now we don't need anything else so yeah we're gonna add that to the chicken and let you guys see what happened next guys we are going to check the yam yes the pumpkin yeah pumpkin the yam the dumpling is cooking so you see it's falling apart here we go that's it. And the last three pieces of chicken is frying. So guys, that's the frying stage that it goes through. This is my sauce. I'm gonna pour the sauce on top of it, lower the heat, and put my seasoning in, and let it stay there, and take its own little time and see. So that's the only liquid that's gonna go on this Jamaican style chicken. So you all know, Jamaican sauce chicken this is how we do it so there we go with the seasoning on it what I'm doing right now I'm lowering the heat yeah and it's gonna take its own little time and steam so the food part is finished and the chicken part is finished looking so nice but here we are right here so yeah, I started to share already. So I'm gonna put some meat here. There we go, guys. Real Jamaican food, Jamaican style chicken. And yeah, that's it. Your girl gonna have a nice dinner. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will catch you back in another one soon. Bye. Carrot. So good. Al dente. Mm. Irish. It's so nice. Pumpkin. Oh my god. The sweet and tangy taste. Mm. So good. Let's try the yam. Mm hmm. Very nice. Dumplings, 
Gotta try the dumplings. Gotta let you see. The dumplings are so good. Cornmeal dumpling. Mmm. So good. This is so good, guys. Mm. Chicken. Mm. Chicken is falling from the bone. That's how I like it. Mm. So good. So good, guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy. Might be come back for another one. You didn't hear that, but you hear. Because it's <clears throat> so good. The spice, <clears throat> yeah. Y'all know the spice is spicy. And I'm going to enjoy it. How did I do with my chicken and my food? 10 out of 10. Because it's so delish. Oh my God. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.